What's going on everyone? So today we got uh, a couple plans to go take care of here. Um, I want to try tinting the windows on my dually here, but first before I go do that, I have a couple estimates to go do, which is an awesome feeling. It is the uh, first week of March here and the phone has been starting to ring, which is a good feeling because to be completely transparent and honest with you guys, I did not have any work planned for this uh, upcoming spring. So the fact that my phone's starting to ring and I went out and did a couple of est estimates so far, it's a good feeling. Nothing's signed up with me yet, but once again, it's very early in the season to get going on anything. So, uh, but otherwise, I'm going to run, go take care of this estimate. Uh, once I leave there, I'll let you know kind of how I felt about it and uh, see if we have a potential job. Uh, this job is just to lay down some topsoil and put grass seed down and so on and so forth. But, um, you know, I'm not going to record going to an estimate just because this is my first time meeting a potential client. So we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah. And then I also have to stop over by my, my winter accounts that I have the skidster and everything at. I'm going to be picking up my snowblower that I have there. There's no really no reason to have that stuff there anymore. Uh, I'm also going to jump in the skidster and see if, the, if that thing fires up. It's been a while since I started it. I want to make sure that the battery still has some juice in it. And, uh... From there, then we'll go run and see if we can uh, manage tinting these windows on this truck. So I'll catch back up with you guys once I'm leaving that estimate. It's about an hour has passed since uh, the last time I took a clip here, but I went and took a look at that job, uh, spreading topsoil and putting grass seed down. Uh, pretty much sounds like I got the job. Uh, pretty much the customer told me, open checkbook, checkbook I want this done. <laughs> so that's a good feeling. Um, not going to hold my breath on it just yet, but that sounds like the first job of the year. <laughs> But um, this happens to me, uh, this has happened to me the past couple years I've been in business. I get all worked up and worried that I have no work uh, for, you know, the coming season. I fortunately still have the accounts for cutting the grass and doing the snow plowing, but that's another thing. Those aren't guarantees, but I've had them for the past three years now, so I'm starting to get more of a relationship with those guys. But once again, like I said, I'm not holding my breath on any of that. I still have to push and uh, try selling work for myself. But anyways, that's a good feeling to have the kind of the first job on the books as of right now. I've so far I've went out and I believe I've done 10 estimates and uh, haven't heard anything back like I said previously, but um, it's early in the season. I'm sure I'll hear something eventually here, especially with tax returns and all that coming around. Uh, people just have to see where, you know, financially where they're at. You know, the jobs, the concrete jobs that I do or grading, those aren't just... Uh, you know $500 jobs they're they're significant money you know so it, people need time to think about it and go from there but anyways enough of that I'm gonna fire up the Ford here cuz uh, go pick up that snowblower because obviously the dually here has a salter in it and I can't get the snowblower in the back of that so we'll catch back up with you guys once I'm over there by the accounts and we'll go from there all right That is what I'm picking up. This I'm gonna have to trailer or drive somewhere eventually. But as of right now, I'm just here for this. So with a lifting with my back and a very strong jerking motion, I will get this thing into the back of the truck somehow. Oh yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Oh. Wow. All right. Good to go. Curious. I'm going to fire up the skidster too while I'm here. It's been probably about two or three weeks since I fired that up and just want to get this thing going, making sure battery's still charged on it. Before the season gets going here, I'm going to bring this thing to the shop and get it all cleaned out. Right on. Oh. It's making some weird noises. I think we're good to go. I'm gonna let this thing run for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna head off. I gotta stop at Harbor Freight to go pick up some squeegees and a spray bottle for tinting those windows. Um, confidence is not high with uh, doing a good job tinting, but it's worth a shot, right? Save a couple bucks. So, 
All right, I'm gonna let this thing warm up. And just for giggles, I'm gonna try firing this thing up too, might as well. I am gonna post this thing for sale, but I'm gonna wait until fall of next year. Figure that'd be my best chance to try selling this thing. There's some throttles, some chokes. You gotta start. Not sounding like it. Uh oh. Come on, Betsy. but it just didn't work out exactly how I wanted to do it. It's just too slow of a machine for doing the commercial stuff. I think for a residential homeowner, this thing would work great, but not for me. Uh-oh. It's good enough for that. Before I head off to the shop, I just start tinting these windows gonna grab my heat gun because the couple YouTube videos that I've watched you definitely need a heat gun and I also need to get a spray bottle for uh, making uh, getting the windows all wet and everything so gotta dig this thing out here I don't use this too often so that's why it's buried down here but we'll get her out one way or another come on Headway. Cool. I don't even know what I all have down here in this corner. <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Tape, demo. All right. Well, first off, let's plug this in, see if it still works. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but I just want to make sure. Because if I'm going to the store, I'll just buy another one then. Ooh. Yeah, things still worked out good. All right, I need to go get some squeegees. Um, spray bottle. I think I actually have a spray bottle here at the house. So I'll go find that quick. Oh, I'm also going to need some razor knives. Some razor blades, I should say. To clean off the windows. Make sure I get all the gunk off and everything. You know, the stuff that you're not able to get with just a rig. Be really cool if I can figure this out because then they'll save me a lot of money because every vehicle I've ever gotten, I always tint the windows on it. I don't like when people can see me uh, picking my boogers. <laughs> um, I guess I'll bring all three of them. So, all right, we'll catch back up with you guys once I'm at the shop. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to trim the excess off up here. 
and at least the window shape down here is good so what I'll do is I'll just get up here and go a little bit higher and then once it's in position on the window inside the truck then I will trim it to the shape of the window I guess I would say where is First of all, I need to get this cut up out of the way. All right. Made a little boo boo here. You'll have that. I'm not gonna complain too much about that. That's just whatever to me. Obviously, I'm not doing this for a customer. And I think for my first time trying this, I'm doing halfway decent. I'm gonna just dry this soap one more time, see if there's any bubbles that need to be shrinked out of this. I'm nervous, but I think we can get it. I think we can do it. So get this all nice and sudsed up. Yeah, the little mistake that I made in that corner, I don't even notice. I don't even know if you'll notice that, honestly. And I'm probably putting way too much suds on, but I guess I'd rather have more than not enough. So now we gotta get this backer off, which is always a pain. Especially when you're blind and this is such a thin filament it's not like you can just crease it and pull it off oh almost had it there actually Well, I think for my first time tinting that turned out, I guess I messed up. <laughs> I don't know if you guys camera can pick that up, but there is a gap from here to here that I didn't account for when I had the window cracked. But I thought for my first time ever, it turned out pretty good. There's no bubbles, it's all flat besides the uh, area that I missed down there. So luckily when I went and picked up this tint, they gave me an extra sheet to try with. So I still have that one and that one to attempt this with. Um, I guess if I mess up the next window, it is what it is and I'm just gonna be taking the truck in to get it actually professionally tinted. But I think uh, that I will be able to handle it now. Now that I kind of have a better idea of what I'm doing, I think it's definitely possible. So I'm gonna get this old tint ripped off and try this again. What I'm hoping, which I don't, I don't see it being a problem, but I feel like since I just put this on there, this tint on there, it shouldn't be that hard to pull off, which it is not. Sweet. Well, it is what it is. Let's get this window cleaned back off and attempt this once again. So from, I have a, I had a friend that used to tint windows and I've watched them a handful of times. It's kind of why I have a general idea of what I'm doing here. Um, this bottle of water, it's a uh, water with a little bit of Dawn dish soap. The Dawn dish soap kind of gives the, it's kind of like a lubricity for that sticker or I, the tint. The tint is just pretty much a giant sticker. So what you do, as you spray it on here, get the window all nice and clean, and then you spray all that, that soapy solution on there, 
and that way once you get the tint there you can kind of move it around it's not just permanently stuck right away so that is why I do that now grab a rig here and get this thing cleaned off probably grab a old rig here quick and then I'll get a majority of the water off and then I'll get another dry really dry rig and attempt it or not attempt it but run over it again and make sure it's really really clean probably the cleanest this window's been since it's been brand new <laughs> all right so what do I need to do here I'm gonna now I'm not gonna roll the window down as far as I did last time That'd be probably plenty good right there. That way it gives me a little bit more wiggle room. You know, I can slide the tent down in a window jam and I only have to make up that quarter inch before I roll the window down about an inch. And I think that's what kind of messed me up here. The biggest thing to pay attention to with this tent is that there is a backer on it. That backer when you don't have any fingernails, it's hard to get to. So here's that film. Probably hard to see on camera, but there's a film. And what I gotta do is make sure that this protection film here is on the outside of the window. Reason for that is once I get it all shaped up and cut on the outside of the window, then what I do is pull this film off, and that way the sticky side of the tint is on the inside of the window. Sure, you guys that tint windows are just in shock or just in tears watching me do this. I'm sure it's a painful process for you and myself. <laughs> Definitely am doing better with this one than I was on the last. Give it some more suds so I'm not scratching the tint. Not off to a good start here. So the mistake that I made was when I was doing this, um, when it all folded up together, I was trying to pull it apart and I creased it really bad over here. And I just don't know if I'll be able to get that out. Should have bought four sheets of this tint. But we'll try the heat gun, see if I can get some of that out of there. I, I know the heat gun's not like the absolute magic trick for tint, but, Maybe I can do something here. Oh, I did the same crap again. Son of a gun. <laughs> I thought I went low enough. Oh, oh, man, does that suck. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. So obviously, tinting is not something that I can add to my resume. I actually just got off the phone with the company that I bought the tint from and scheduled an appointment for them to come, or for me to take the truck to them and get the windows tinted professionally. I think I would be able to get it. It just would take time. You know, the, I did it, I tried it twice now and I got better with each time, but I just don't have unlimited tint laying around. So I'm gonna leave that up to the professionals. I just thought it'd be something that I would try and see if I could figure out myself. Like I said, I think I can do it. It's just, you know, at the same time, you know, it's cheap enough to get windows tinted. It's $100 to get two windows done. So 50 a window. I'd rather just, uh, I guess, spend, spend my time on something else then. But that's not, I'm not going to waste a day with uh, just trying to tint the windows here. I have a set of skid start tires that are solid filled, these orange ones right here. I just want to clean up the rims a little bit and get these things painted because obviously I do not need them. Um, actually a lot of these tires through here I do not need. I'm just going to work on trying to get the shop cleaned up a little bit and just make a little bit more room in here for future projects and stuff like that. So I'm going to get the ground clean up of all the tint scraps, get that out, uh, cleaned up, and get this dually pulled out of here. Uh, run, go get uh, like a chisel or something, not a chisel, but a uh, scraper of some sort to scrape all this loose paint off. 
and some primer and probably just get some black paint or, or like a gray or something and put these tires up for sale. They're good tires, it's just I have a, a brand new set of solid filled tires. So I don't need these anymore. So, all right, let's get to it. So I just, uh, it was easier for me to, or not easier, but it was faster for me to just run 10 Menards right up the road than to run all the way back home to my Ford that has all of my tools in it. So I just ran to Menards and got, grabbed this little scraper pry bar deal here. Um, while I was out and about, I stopped and grabbed some, some food to eat, stopped at Subway and got a sandwich. So uh, and then I just got back here a couple minutes ago. I already did one rim, got it painted up, kind of, you can see all the loose paint that was there. But I'm gonna start scraping the, all the loose paint off the rest of these rims and get to painting. I'm not gonna even put primer on it or anything. I just got a can of black spray paint. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough paint to paint the back side of these rims, but I guess we'll see as we get going here. I guess my main reason for not priming these things or getting an actual wire wheeler like that is they're a set of skid loader tires. It's not like I'm putting these on my truck or anything, you know? So I'm just trying to get some of the loose stuff off of it to get ready to paint them and just get somewhat of a, somewhat of a coat on it. Anything's better than nothing. Uh, something that I learned a long time ago, shiny cells. So if they look good, they must be good, right? Tip that thing down, knock all the stuff off of it, and it's ready for paint. Get to the rest of them. I might, I actually just might have enough paint to paint the back sides. We'll see as we go on. Some of these rims are in rougher shape than the others as far as loose paint, which is, I don't understand why, but get all that stuff cleaned up off of them. This one's not in too rough a shape, so just do a quick little pass over on this one. They almost look like a brand new set of tires. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think I'm gonna put these on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know, probably put them up for 600 bucks or uh, anywhere between four to 600 bucks on Marketplace. Not 100% sure yet, still haven't made up my mind. But I for sure know that they're worth something. So especially with them being a, an airless tire, you can run these things down to absolutely nothing. I mean, you can run it down to a rim if you really wanted to. So, but for somebody that's looking for a set of Skidster tires, that's pretty cheap, I think, in my opinion. So, but yeah, let's get these things posted. Probably before I take a picture of these things leaning up against the trailer here, I should probably sweep all the paint that I just chipped off of them. <laughs> I know this video is probably all over the place and just kind of shows, I don't know, I think this video is going to be good, a good repetition, however you say that word, of how my days usually go, where I have something in mind, but it doesn't go to plan, so then I just kind of start thinking of different things to do to keep busy. Get those posted on Marketplace and make some money. Alrighty then, well, got these things posted on Marketplace now. So if any of you guys are looking for them, um, if you let me know you're from YouTube, I'll probably give you a pretty good deal. But uh, either otherwise than that, the next video I have coming out, I'm actually going to be going to the Farrell Show up in Eclair, Wisconsin. I'm going to be meeting Ryan from Victory out there, so that'll be exciting. Uh, go hang out with him. I haven't done, I actually haven't done much with him this past, probably about a past year or so. I don't even know if we got lunch recently. So it'll be nice to catch up with him and uh, meet him out there at the Farrell Show. But uh, once again, thank you. Thank you as always for tuning in and watching the videos. And, and uh, yeah, so 
You guys enjoy the rest of your night or day, whatever it is, and we'll talk to you soon on the next one. Thanks.